Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's David Milan. I'm an HR professional working in Australia. Today I wanted to talk to you about how I've built a nine box talent matrix or a nine box talent grid in Notion. So I really don't wanna waste anyone's time. So I thought I would spell out who I think this video would benefit. I think it would be helpful for any business leaders, any uh, small business owners who don't have access to an HR professional, any HR consultants who work across multiple different businesses, any HR professionals who work for a company which maybe has an HR system, but doesn't have a nine box uh, suite or nine box capability as part of that system. And any Notion users who are interested in seeing how uh, to use a matrix uh, within Notion. Before we get started, I thought I would spend some time just uh, detailing what a nine box talent grid or a nine box talent matrix is. Essentially it's a tool that enables and, and helps leaders to think about and be more intentional about their employees. So I've used them multiple times throughout my career and it's a tool that will help leaders to sit down, assess where their employees are from a performance perspective and from a potential perspective. So the matrix will measure uh, on the Y axis potential. So it will look at low, moderate and high potential. And on the X axis, it will look at performance. So it will measure an employee's performance, low, moderate or high. And when you combine those two rankings, it will give you nine different boxes. So you can see whether an employee is high potential or low performance or high potential, high performance. And there's different uh, names and categories associated with each. They vary across organizations. And uh, you can use that to determine who needs uh, assistance in their role, is there a role fit issue, who needs coaching, who needs a, a different assignment, who, who an organization can look to for future leadership positions. It does need to be used carefully and uh, so I'll include a link in the description to some different websites which talk about the Ninebox uh, talent grid and, and how you can use it. So recently I listened to an episode of the Not Overthinking podcast by Ali and Taymour Abdal and it talked about the benefits in building relationships and building connections beyond just your local village, beyond just what you can access uh, physically. And I'm really giving that a, a good go this year and I, I'm trying to do that through obviously YouTube and through uh, Twitter. I'll include a link in the uh, description to the episode. It's really changed the way that I, I've, I've started thinking about social media and YouTube and Twitter. And so I thought I'd give a quick plug in terms of my Twitter account. I'm really open to hearing from people who want to discuss uh, HR and productivity and Notion and those types of things. All topics that my friends in real life aren't really that into. So I'm, I'm really open to, to building those relationships and, and having discussions. At first I was struggling to determine how to build something like this in Notion, but then I came across some great templates on Kay High's Rad Reads website. So I'll include a link in the description to that as well. He included a template by a Notioneer whose name is Alex Sherwood and Alex put together a Eisenhower matrix, which is uh, a matrix that looks at um, tasks and whether they are urgent um, or important or urgent, not important. And you can use that matrix to, to rank the different tasks that you have to perform. And so I've borrowed heavily from that template by Alex and uh, I'll include a link in the description so you can check out his uh, website and his templates. They're, they're fantastic and um, I recommend that you have a look. So this is the talent management uh, nine box matrix template that I've put together. I'll include a link in the description if you would like to download this and, and use it yourself, uh, feel free to do so. You don't have to use it for, for ranking uh, and assessing employees. You could use it for something different. Uh, you just have to change the categories around. So as I mentioned, this was inspired by a Notioneer's uh, template. So I've included a link uh, in this template to his original template. So you can have a look at that. So this is the overall table of embedded it in a toggle list. So I'll just close that one. And then I've created a linked uh, view, a linked database, which is linking to the original database. And I've put that in another uh, toggle list there. And I've called that one requires rating. So essentially I've done a filter, will bring up anyone who is uh, their potential and their performance is empty. So that way you're able to keep track of who requires uh, ratings. This section, this is essentially nine linked databases or um, nine linked, um, linked views to the original database embedded within uh, nine different 
toggle lists to give you the uh, the different rankings. So what I'll do is I'll open all of these up. This is a tip again from a Notioneer. So if you select all of these and then if you're using a Mac, you hit uh, command return, it will open up all of the different uh, toggle lists all at once. And you can use that same shortcut to shut them as well. So if command return, it'll shut all of them. And so now you can see all of the different uh, categories that I've included in there. And so this is how I am facilitating that matrix functionality. For each of these uh, different uh, categories, I've included uh, filters so that when you drag and drop an employee into the, uh, the box, it will assume the corresponding categories that the filter is, is assigned to. So I'll show you how that would work. So let's just add a few in here. So if I grab Nick Miller and add him there now, you'll see the filter is set to high potential and performance is low performance. And so when I drag and drop him into that box, at the top here in the original database, he will now receive those, uh, those ratings. So I'll go through and add a few now so you can see how it works. So put Jim here. also grab it from the top and drag it down. Okay, so now you can see uh, there's someone in each uh, category, in each box. And so if you were facilitating this session with leaders, you could use this methodology to have a discussion about who are our employees who we're concerned about, who might be in the wrong role, who might require coaching, who are our, our star performers and, and who, who needs to be stretched or who could we look at for, for leadership opportunities in the future. So if you were to add a, a lot of different employees to one box, it does start to change the shaping. It looks a bit um, uneven. So I'll show you how that looks if I was to add multiple employees to uh, moderate uh, performance and moderate potential, it'll now start to, to stretch out. I don't think that's a real uh, deal breaker myself uh, because you know, it still enables you to have that discussion and you can still use the tool, but it does start to become um, a bit uh, unwieldy if you were dealing with bigger groups. But I, I still think it's a useful way to, to use um, the nine box matrix in Notion. So that's how I've built a nine box matrix or a nine box talent grid using Notion. I hope that you found this uh, video useful. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, I'll also include a link in the description to another video I put together, which is how I read books using Notion and another video as well, which uh, might be useful for those of you who are preparing for a job interview. So thanks again for taking the time to watch and I will see you in the next video.